Hi, this is Zach Schneff from Zach Schneff Photography and Photocascadia.com. Today I'm going to walk you through my technique for sharpening for print. The number one question I got after producing my tonality control video was how do you sharpen? I already have a video blog on how to prepare images for the web that covers sharpening when presenting on the web. And today I'm going to cover how to sharpen for print. So when I sharpen for print, I keep it pretty simple and I use a lot of the same techniques I used in the tonality control video. So for instance, I use multiple layers, masking, and selections to help me selectively sharpen areas that need to be sharpened and leave other areas like here in the lake and maybe up in the sky unsharpened depending on the individual image. So I've tried a lot of different sharpening techniques and plugins and programs and I still prefer just uh, the built-in tools in Photoshop namely Smart Sharpen and we'll get there in just a second. So here I have the image that I worked on in the tonality control video. This is the the finished unsharpened image. Anytime I'm going to do sharpening, uh, I like to do it on a separate layer and on a flattened image. So here I've flattened all my layers down and I'm going to create a duplicate of this background layer. So I'm going to click, drag and duplicate it. That way I can mask out any areas that I don't want sharpened. So now that I have a duplicate layer, I'm going to head up to the filter menu and choose Sharpen, Smart Sharpen. Now my starting amount I like to set to 150 and I like a radius of 1.0 just as a starting point and I'm just using the basic tab here and I'm having it remove Gaussian blur so I'm gonna zoom in behind so you can do that uh, on a Mac by holding alt command 0 and I can click and drag around using the spacebar and on a PC I'm assuming it's control alt 0 to zoom in to 100 percent now in this case I think that's a little bit too sharp I don't want it quite that sharp so I'm gonna back it off a little bit and I might back the radius down to 0.9 instead of 1.0 as well and that looks pretty good for most of these areas that I want sharp. Yep, that looks pretty good. I don't like to over sharpen for uh, printing. So in this case, these are my settings and I'll hit OK. At this point, we've got a sharpened layer on top and an unsharpened layer underneath. I'm going to add a quick mask to my sharpened layer and using freehanding and some selections I'm going to remove the sharpening in certain areas. So let me zoom back out and I know just from looking at this before that I don't want any sharpening in the sky or in uh, some areas of the lake. Otherwise, everywhere else I want to keep sharp. So I have a selection for the sky saved in my channels. I can load it from here, or I can also load it from the select menu. And I want sky refined. So I'm going to click on my mask and I, with the selection active I can just hit uh, fill with black and hit OK. 
And that has effectively taken all the sharpening out of the sky really quickly and easily. And because uh, we did all the work before, we can just reuse that selection. Now I could have just built uh, another one and it wouldn't take that much time. But if, I, if I've already got the selection built, then I can just use that. So I will deselect that now. And I'll zoom in a little bit on the lake. So any areas that I see that are getting a little bit noisy, I'll just freehand mask those areas. So I'm going to set my brush opacity to 100%. And I'm just going to go over any areas where I'm seeing some noise. So along here, it's a little bit noisy. And along here, I'm not worried about being super accurate, just any obvious areas that are looking a little bit noisy to me. Now I could always just do some noise reduction as well. But I find um, if I can reduce the amount of processing I'm doing to the image, it just increases the image quality. And otherwise it looks pretty good. This is all mainly just water detail. I'm not seeing any noise pattern there. So that's about it. It's pretty simple. I may go over it with a finer tooth comb before I actually print it, but that's basically the idea of uh, sharpening for print. Pretty simple, but very effective, and uh, I like to keep things as simple as I can anyway. So, I hope you enjoyed this, and see you next time.